Kerbin is a unique and truly fascinating world. It is the place we as Kerbinauts know the best, with its lush green hills, imposing mountain ranges and fathoming blue oceans, which we have all come to love and cherish. For many, Kerbin is the centre of their universe, with the prospect of there being strange alien worlds seeming almost absurd. But the Kerbal system is full of surprises, many of which will astound and inspire for decades to come. So join me, Jin Lee Kerman, on a voyage of discovery through the mesmerising system we call home, as we discover the wonders of the Kerbal system. Moving outwards and further from our parent star, we leave the scorched world of Moho far behind. It is here that we encounter the start of what's known as the Goldilocks Zone, the ring-shaped area around Kerbal, where temperatures are in just the right place to allow liquid water to exist on the surface of celestial bodies inside of it. Liquid water is essential for all life to exist, and so it is in this small segment of orbits that we are most likely to find other life forms in our solar system. Marking the innermost boundary of this zone is the bright, giant world of Eve. With its equatorial diameter being 100 kilometers larger than Kerbin's, Eve is truly a sight to behold, from up close and to distance. This view is bolstered by the planet's uniquely bizarre colour scheme, a deep royal purple due to the high concentration of iodide salts that have precipitated from Eve's vast, fathoming oceans. Kerbal astronomers consider Eve to be a sibling planet to Kerbin, due to its comparable size and active geological nature. However, peek behind the veil of clouds and Eve begins to look less like a perfect child and more like Kerbin's evil twin. For starters, due to its higher mass, Eve has 70% more gravity than Kerbin, meaning that any potential Kerbinauts would have severe difficulty walking on its surface. But that's assuming they survive Eve's two greatest hazards, such as an atmosphere 20 kilometers thicker than our own, and nearly five times as dense. This atmosphere is almost entirely composed of carbon dioxide from constant volcanic processes on the surface of the planet, which causes a highly accelerated greenhouse effect and the second of Eve's deadly characteristics, temperatures of between 147 degrees Celsius at night and 156 degrees Celsius in the day. However, despite all of its flaws, the planet of Eve does not turn up to the cosmic ballet alone. Due to its strong gravitational pull, Eve has no problem attracting a celestial soulmate. As such, it has a small, solitary, ugly dance partner, orbiting at a great distance from the planet, known, of course, as Gilly. At only 13 kilometers in diameter, Gilly is the smallest celestial body in the Kerbal system. As a result of its small size, it only has 0.5% of Kerbin's gravity. If a Kerbinaut were to leap while standing on the surface, they would rise over a kilometer above the surrounding terrain and take over 200 seconds to touch down once more. Gilly is considered a captured asteroid due to its puny appearance and highly inclined plus eccentric orbit around Eve. Due to its colour, it is often laughed at by many Kerbal astronomers, with it being given the nickname of the Great Potato in Space as of recent times. However, despite their flaws, this cosmic couple will continue to be locked in the vows they made when Gilly first fell into Eve's clutches, until death they do part. It is this cosmic commitment to one another that truly makes the Evian system a wonder of the Kerbal system. Join me next time on Wonders of the Kerbal System, where we'll be looking at the cold, red planet of Juno. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss it. My name is Jin Lee Kerman, and as always, stay classy.